Hi, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to plant jonquils. Now, I'm using this beautiful green pot today and it's just got a beautiful shape, but it has got a plug hole. And because these are outside, I'm gonna pop that out and just pop that over there. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit of charcoal um, in the base of mine. I just like it for the drainage. I think it just really helps a lot um, so your plants sort of don't get rotten. Even bulbs need to be taken care of. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of charcoal, just a small amount, a handful, into the base of my pot. I'm going to put my gloves on. I, I like to wear gloves when I'm dealing with the potting mix. It's really important that you use a really good potting mix. Um, I'm using just a good premium mix here just because it's very healthy and it has a lot of these special agents in it. I like a soil that's really nice and loose that I can um, make sure that my pots are, and my plants rather are, have got a really nice soil. Sometimes you can mix a little bit of compost and cow manure too, but this premium comes with a really healthy mix of nutrients. Now, you're gonna take your jonquil bulbs. I'm just taking my gloves off here. And then grab my bag of bulbs. Now you wanna plant the bulbs with the pointy end up and the roots go at the base. And they say normally plant them like three times that size. So we're going to just take, we're going to go quite deep into the pot and we're just going to probably put, I think I can fit about five in this pot. Again, pointy end up and the roots at the base. So I'm going to just go a little bit deeper here it's not a huge pot, but I want it to be quite bunched because I really want to, again, pointy end. I really want that beautiful fragrance. Um, if anyone out there has smelt jonquils, they have the most incredible, again, the pointy end. They have the most incredible aroma. And whoop, I'll just get another one and pop in there. And I might even, just to even it out, one, two, three, four, five. And I think that's actually plenty. They usually rule of thumb is that you put them in odd numbers. So I think five will be plenty. Now we're just gonna finish off, just pop my gloves on again, and we're gonna top that up with some soil. And we're just gonna cover those bulbs just lightly. And you can put a little bit of um, sugarcane mulch or something slightly over the top, not too thick because you want your plants to come through, but this is such a small pot. I don't think I'm going to actually um, put any mulch on this today because I just want to see my beautiful jonquils coming up. So we'll wait and uh, in a few months time, we'll get some beautiful jonquils. Thanks for watching today. My name's Chrissy. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I've got lots of videos on gardening and I've got a lot on Japanese gardening and how to style your garden. And I'll see you in that next video. Hit those like buttons. Bye.